Hi, my love. Thank you so much for allowing me to connect with you and your loved ones for this mediumship practice reading. So I wrote some notes here. Um, I'm just going to jump right into it. So we were asking about a grandmother figure. So as I was trying to focus on the grandma, first thing I saw was a small dog. <laughs> then there is a small dog with you on the other side. I don't know if this is yours or perhaps it was her dog or if you know if she had um, a, a little dog that was very important to her or it was important to you, but there is a little dog on the other side with you. <laughs> um, and the, the dog came to me in white, but I mean, white is such a generic color. It's such a like pure color. So it could just be the way the dog is showing itself to me. Um, but it was like a little shaggy white dog, white, tan, light tan. I mean, it just, but it was a little dog. He was cute. So I wrote that down. That was like the first thing that came through. Dog can also be, if you don't resonate with that as like a past loved, a past pet that you loved, um, or if she didn't have one, um, this could be just an animal guide that is around you and it's coming in the form of a dog because maybe you have fears of spirit or ghosts, ghosts. Um, and so the idea of having a, an animal guide that is a little dog might be more warming to you <laughs> than a full blown spirit. You know what I mean? So I just thought I would throw that in there just in case. Um, other things I saw were apple trees. This was really weird. So apple trees and I, I wrote down fruit. So, um, I feel like your grandmother, either she had an apple tree, loved apples, Apple was a prominent thing. Um, maybe she liked to cook and make and, and fruit like the apples where it was a big element in that. Maybe you have an apple tree in your backyard or apple trees are prominent somewhere. But for some reason that came up. Um, I But I also wrote she loves them. So I feel like she loves the smell of the apples or the apple scent or just like the trees. There's something about the trees. Um, she also attends family games. I put games cause then I heard baseball, but I don't know. <sighs> this is like me getting like, this is why I'm practicing. Cause I start getting like, I start doubting myself. So I, I wrote down family games and then I put baseball. So if there are baseball games that you are, the, the family attends, she's there with you guys. Um, I also wrote down barbecues because to me, family outings and games, sometimes there's games that take place at barbecues or like, um, uh, what is, what am I looking for? <laughs> barbecues or family reunions, that kind of thing. She's present for all of that. She's always around. I also put, she owned a favorite chair that came up too. Um, I was seeing it as a recliner, but that, but a lot of times, like when I'm connecting with spirit, I see it in my own way. So a recliner for me <laughs> would be a favorite chair because I, I have one of those, but, um, it might not be a recliner. It could be a rocking chair, but I feel like she had a favorite chair that she used to sleep in. She used to fall asleep in it a lot. And someone may still own this chair in the family. So that would be really cool if you found that out. Um, but that's what I wrote down too, that someone may still own the chair. <laughs> it, it somehow got passed down or it still belongs to the family. Um, and so she's mentioning something about the chair, okay? Um, and then I, um, I, I also wrote light a candle on her birthday. So that is a way for you to connect. Um, I don't feel like she was telling me to say light a candle on my birthday, <laughs> but because you want to connect more with, um, with her, that is a great way for you to symbolically share that moment. So on her birthday, light a candle for her, um, and hold space with her, you know? Um, I also wrote, um, she's with you in the kitchen and then I put for encouragement. <laughs> so I don't know if cooking is maybe not your favorite thing or maybe you struggle with cooking or you tend to forget recipes or whatnot. She's, she's usually there and I, I feel she whispers to you. So when she does talk to you, I feel like she does whisper to you, but she gives you, um, words of encouragement. So if you ever feel like you're in the kitchen and, <laughs> and you are just not getting it, um, but then all of a sudden you feel calm or you feel like, like I can do this, you know, she's there doing that for you. Okay. The other thing I wrote is she has a very calm vibration. So her energy is very faint, very faint, but she's very calm. She ha loves to listen. She's always around listening. So I don't know if maybe <laughs> if you have anyone that, you know, that, that actually knew her when she was around, 
um, if they could confirm that, but she loves to listen. And maybe she was a little bit of a, like, you know, listening in on conversations when she knew she shouldn't be. Um, but I, I wrote, she loves to listen, but she has a very calm vibration to her and she's not much of a talker. So she doesn't have anything to verbally say, but I feel like if anything, the vibration of her being around is very calming energy. And like I said, like in the cases where you're in the kitchen and you're cooking and you need words of encouragement, she's there whispering them in your ear. <laughs> um, but that's basically everything that I gathered for you, my love. Um, I would love to hear some feedback if you have any feedback on any of the things that I mentioned. Um, but thank you so much for allowing me to share this moment with connecting with you and for um, allowing me to practice the mediumship reading on you. Thank you.